<laughs> Live here in the WWOZ studios, the R Project from Riverdale High School with band director Desmond Venable. How we doing, band director? Oh, yeah, I'm still a band director. Right? Yeah. You got I'm lost in there a little bit. You, see, you, you jumped back into the band. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. How y'all doing out there in Radio World? Doing really good. And I wanted to say, um, I was playing you earlier. Oh. I played a little bit of original Pinstripe Bass Band in first hour, doing a little oh. Stand By Me from live at the oh, uh, Jazz yeah. Fest back in 2006. Interesting, interesting. I remember that CD. Right on. Yeah. So here we are back again. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing great today. So tell me about the R Project. How'd you get involved with this? Well, I'm the talented music director in Jefferson Parish in Riverdale High School. It's one of my schools. Um, basically, we, we, we started this program, this brass band, as a exercise in harmony, trying to do major, minor, uh, different things. And uh, we came up with a brass band, and there goes uh, Radio World, and that's how we all started. Right on. And how many are in this band? <laughs> Eleven. Eleven, including you? Well, I'm side of the two people, so that doesn't count. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, well, I'm not part of the band, but, I, you know, I can't. I see a microphone and I got to play. I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Can I have one of the band members introduce the band? Sure thing. <laughs> all right. So, uh, and um, yeah. Who am I talking to? You're talking to Lauren Bravo. Lauren, and you're a trumpet player. Yes, sir. Can you introduce the rest of the band? We'll go back into a tune. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right so let's start with our beautiful trombones. So we have Nikki on the end right over there. We have Chris. <laughs> we have Ayana. All right. And then we have on the tenor sax, we have Jonathan. And then my wonderful trumpet player, Hannah. And then there's, of course, me. And then in the back, if y'all can move out of the way. I'm on sousaphone, we have Ronnie. <laughs> and then on snare, we have Lance, of course. And then on bass drum, the wonderful Dylan. And then on cowbell, beautiful, beautiful Amanda. Right on. Right. And, and together, then, together, you are the R Project. Yes, sir. And how did the name R Project come up? <sighs> Honestly, we <laughs> I remember it just like... Happened. I'm pretty sure Mr. B came up with these like, yeah, let's just do our project or something. It's just something a little different. Just yeah, I mean, we were like, so we were like, do we want to say something like with Riverdale? Um, no, that'd be too long. So we just put R, and they're like, hmm. Well, it also oh, seems yeah. like our project means happened. you can encompass a lot more music, and you can bring a lot of things to the table. For sure, definitely. So, I think you all can play another song for the listeners out here. Of course. What are we gonna hear? We're about to play. <laughs> He hates when I say it. <laughs> Shake your booty. <laughs> I sound too white when I say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> How about Shake your booty? <laughs> right on. And this is the R Project from Riverdale High School live yeah. on WWOZ 90.7 <laughs> FM. And you can also catch us on our Facebook page. Shake 
Live in the WWOZ studios, our project from Riverdale High School. They started off with Shake Your Booty, but they went everywhere. Can I talk to somebody in the band real quick? <laughs> All right, coming up here is the bass drummer. And he was feeling the funk. He was screaming it. Always got to have the funk. So who am I talking to? Talking to Dylan Ramos, bass drummer for our project. Hallelujah. Dylan, how we doing today? Doing all right today, Dylan? Yes, sir, yes, sir. How'd you get involved with uh, playing drums and in the band? Well, playing drums, growing up, I always liked the idea of doing music. When I got to middle school, I got the uh, chance of being able to join the band. My first choice was always drums, but they forced me to do saxophone like I was from Clutch. <laughs> but uh, eventually I got it. Uh, eventually I got up to being able to be in the drums, and that's how it started. Sorry. <laughs> We're, we're, we'll get it. we're since. getting it. But for the art project, it's something that started like, what, two years ago? Yeah. Two years ago, he needed a drummer, and I just jumped up because I love second line music. I thought it would be a great opportunity, especially to dive in something new because I'm not really known for diving into new things. So it's just something to push myself, really. Well, you all seemed like you were having a lot of fun. Everybody was smiling and sort of encouraging each other with what they were playing. Like, Is that the kind of energy that the art project kind of has all the time? Always. I mean, the whole basis of our band when we really put it together and when we're playing is just to uh, always have fun. That's what the whole basis of this band is. That's what everyone wants to do. We don't really want to go out and do something where we're going to feel real stressed and where we're going to feel like we don't really want to play it. We just want to have fun and we want everybody around us to have fun, too. And I noticed it's a mix. Uh, men, women, all different ethnic backgrounds. You all yeah. just seem to come together. It's a huge gumbo. Yeah. yeah. And you all seem to really get along. It just, it just formed organically and naturally? Yeah. I mean, we're all friends within our own school band. We're all friends outside of band. See this man playing saxophone? I love him. <laughs> I, love Lauren. I love everyone in the band. We're all great friends. We're the kind of people that spend time outside of band together. I'll, yeah. hug, I'll hug every single one of these people any second of the day. <laughs> it seems like that's a key ingredient to making a great band. Yes, sir. Can I speak to somebody else? It is my turn. Can and you hear me? Yep. <laughs> and give the audience your name again. Oh, Lauren Bravo. And you're a trumpet player. Yes, sir. How long have you been playing trumpet? Woo. Well, um, my main instrument is French horn. <laughs> so, I mean, I started on trumpet in seventh grade, but I switched to French horn. So, really, I got back on it whenever I was, I think, a sophomore. I'm a senior now, so about three years. Three years three on the trumpet. Ago. Yeah. Because you were crushing it, and you just... <laughs> you, you couldn't stop getting involved. I kept watching you dance and smile. Oh, and yeah, you were just, yeah. Again, it seems like the, the R Project is all about having a good time. Definitely. Oh, my goodness, yes. And how do you all come up with the songs? Do you all pick them together or is it band leader? Well, yeah. Um, I mean, we all, like, we li we go home, our job, listen to music because, you know, uh, that's the way to get better, listen. And we all we always come up and we're like, oh, my goodness, I heard this really cool song. Like, I think we should play it. And it's like, but we'll, like, do our own little mix on it. And, like, so we just, we learn all our music by ear. Like, we all, you know, You bring it in and, and then everyone learns it together. Yes, sir. So you learn as a group. Yes, sir. That's amazing. <laughs> well, I want to thank you all for coming on out and playing some music for us. I got uh, Leslie Cooper right behind you. She's the producer of School Groove, and she's got something really special she wants to give to you all. Oh, my goodness. Uh we have not had this much fun in, in a long time here. Uh, Y'all have brought the energy. You have brought the spirit. Uh, it's not just about playing the music. It's playing the music together. And, and guys, y'all do that. Um, band directors can make such a difference in these kids' lives. And every young person that I have seen you work with Mr. Venable has been an amazing young person, and that is to your credit. You do such a great job. Here at WWOZ, uh, we would like to thank, in conjunction with the Gia Maoni uh, Prima Foundation and Reginelli's, because Reginelli's just dropped off a bunch of pizzas for y'all. Yeah. We would like to thank you so much and make this gift to you, your band program of $1,000. So... We're not going to do the big cardboard ones. So you have another song for us? Yeah. Before, what you got? Before we go 
I want to thank the uh, band director at Riverdale High School, Mr. Benjamin Buckholtz. Yeah. Also, yeah. our principal, Ms. Danielle Yunusa, Mr. Stephen Hawkins, and our superintendent, Mr. Uh, Kate Brumbley. I got one more quick question for you all play. Tell me about your T-shirts. Why are you wearing those T-shirts? Because they're all a little bit of different. Yeah, whoever wants to speak up. And if someone can turn around so I can see it, because you guys are all on Facebook right now. Yeah, so people, so the people out there can see what they are. Okay, so um, our th we had a field show this year. We have a field show every year, and our theme was Latin music. And I had to, you know, I had to try to incorporate some things together, and this is what we came out with. We had three different songs from three different, you know, countries, right? Countries, <laughs> and our start. We started here in Louisiana, so. We um, basically, you know, had a little trip around with those three songs. So, yeah. That's amazing. And it's cool that you all wore them today to keep on representing what the project that you created. So let's get down. Can we get one more song for all the listeners here? Yeah. Yeah. 